This is an open letter to Frank Viola and the Gene Edwards Churches. Never judge a book by its cover, right? What about the first idiot in heaven? It has the most strange and wonderful cover and the most strange and wonderful title and it answers the most strange and puzzling questions and contradictions you can find in the Bible. The book, all, the book lays out a powerful argument that most of the Bible is written to, for, and about the Jews. Only that thin slice of tasty meat known as the letters of Paul were written to, for, and about the Gentile brothers and sisters. And the argument that if you mix up the two distinct messages, the one for the Jews and the one for the Gentiles, you're going to be confused as H-E double toothpicks. I got a personal taste of this idea that some things are only for the Jews way back in 1968 when I was only 15 years old. I had become a so-called born-again Christian just a year earlier. And I was starting to read Matthew at, at age 15. I stumbled on something terribly confusing in Matthew and I couldn't make heads or tails of it. Then at church the next Wednesday, I asked Brother Ernie about this past, this verse in Matthew. And Brother Ernie was the biggest Bible student in our church. He was always there, sitting on the front row, and always saying amen to the preacher, preacher's sermon, and always had his Bible with him, a nice one, you know, the leather binding, that gold trim, that real thin silky paper. That you, the kind you keep forever? What does this mean? I asked brother. Uh, I asked him in earnest. Nice pun when you think about it, asking Ernie in earnest. Brother Ernie was probably 50 years old at the time, and I was sweet on his daughter at the time. Her name was Ellen. He said to me, don't worry about that. That's for the Jews. I was so relieved. Wow. Scary as that verse was, it was only for the Jews. Let them worry about it. As a 15-year-old boy, I was rather thrilled. Still, it took me years of study to conclude that only Paul's letters apply today to the saints as the body of Christ. So this book, The First City in Heaven, is not a new topic to me. What is new is how refreshing and fun the book is to read and how much sense it makes in peeling back all the mismatching concepts and promises made in the Bible about our walk, our faith, our life, and the future as we look forward to. Zinder does a bang-up job. And it, there's a link. There'll be a link uh, in the description below to this Zinder video. I might compare this book to Gene Edwards' book, Revolution, formerly called The Early Church, or I might compare it to Frank Viola's book called Pagan Christianity, if for no other reason than to tag the search engines in the algorithm. But Gene's book and Frank's book merely covers the outward appearance of church life, like no neckties and no church buildings. And they, they lean a bit toward Paul, but they don't outright rightly divide the word of truth. They are still inclined to mix grace and works. Here's a picture of Frank's book. It's called Pagan Christianity. The First Idiot in Heaven is the book both Frank and Jean should have hid under their pillow at night and digested thoroughly to polish their own work to shine 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 yes i'm saying their work is kind of dull compared to zinder's work jean passed away a few years ago and maybe someone can get a copy of the first idiot in heaven into frank's hands anyway you can't judge a book by its cover however such a strange cover and title for this book proves that the author is reckless, fearless, and not bound by law, kind of like Paul was. Don't just buy one copy of the book. You should get two or three copies. And if you can't find Frank Viola's address, 
Give the extra copy to the pastor of the church you used to go to and watch him squirm. Thank you, Mr. Zender, for putting in the time and energy to write this amazing book. I know it must have taken you some 30 years to put together when all was said and done. This book is the key to unlocking every modern day Christian's heart, freeing them from worry and sin's reign into the glorious freedom of the children of God. Recommended, go get it now. Click here, there'll be a link below in the description box. First, uh, uh, Romans 8, 21, that the creation itself also shall be freed from the slavery of corruption into the glorious freedom of the children of God. P.S. Someone should make sure that Frank Viola sees this and then I put those silly hashtags. Pagan Christianity, Frank Viola, Gene Edwards, Revolution, Early Church, Martin Zender, and the First Idiot in Heaven. Thanks for watching. and Click like and share this thing. It's helpful. It's helpful. Very helpful. Mr. Zender's book is very, 